later on for that documentary. I'm prominently featured in the documentary. Um, Kurt Cobain was found dead in a garage separate from his very safe home. Um, he was there, a uh, long gun by his side, and <coughs> the next to him was a brown leather kit, and inside the kit were a needle freshly cleaned, a syringe freshly cleaned, a tourniquet, and then little slots containing the medicines and so on. So what they said was that he shot himself up and the heroin level in Kurt Cobain was enough if divided into equal portions, aliquots, to kill three or four people. That's how powerful it was. And yet he injects himself with that. He's in nirvana. He's in heaven at that point. And yet he <laughs> takes off the tourniquet, cleans off the needle and the syringe, puts them back inside the needle case, case uh, the, the, the leather case, and then and then shoots himself. And with a shotgun, which would have been awkward. That's that's the Kurt Cobain story. And then you know things were very bad with his wife Courtney Love. She was considered to be a bitch on wheels. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've ever read about her and so on. And uh, they were in the process of getting a divorce, a lot of haggling over money and everything like that. So that's the Kurt Cobain story. Well, you are more of a Pearl Jam guy anyway, right? Pardon me? You preferred the band Pearl Jam to the yeah. Nirvana. Um,